and I'll just say that my uh, attitude is sort of, uh, Ben described me as a sober optimist, <laughs> meaning um, I'm aware that there's a very serious problem, and, uh, and I'm also very optimistic that we can do something about it. I feel like the technical challenges are the least of our worries, really. It's the, it's the social and organizing issues that are the main problem, but I'm working to get my, uh, get these ideas out to that broader woman who's working on the issue, so we're gonna uh, mostly talk nerd stuff tonight, but I wanna start <laughs> with some, um, kind of catching people up on climate. I've been spending the last couple of years uh, catching myself up to speed with what's happening around climate change, so I'll give you the, what do you say, the four minute summary of what's happening? As mostly this is a good news talk, but we're not gonna start with the good news. <laughs> um, so, we have a little formatting issue on here, but um, I can read it to you anyway. This is from Tim Flannery, who's one of the great uh, thinkers about climate and one of the great thinkers about science and humanity and hatred stuff this period. Um, he says, look, we're facing a period where we've got, we're running out of oil, we have a major food security problem that's getting worse, and we have climate change. We need solutions that address all of those problems at once. And I really feel like regenerative agriculture, which incorporates organic and other practices, um, is a solution that can um, provide multiple, can solve multiple problems at the same time. Uh, and if money were to go to that as opposed to giant geoengineering projects, I think that, that would be a much more satisfactory <laughs> thing for everybody. So, seriously. <laughs> 